Hi guys, welcome to the how to crack the Java interview. Today we will discuss some of the interview questions asked by one of the interviewer in JP Morgan. That is some tricky question related to Java 8 interview question. One is the functional interface with respect to inheritance, some program output and small program. And uh, second one is the lambda expression with functional interface, lambda expression how lambda expression is working with the functional interface first we'll go to the first we'll go to the functional interface with respect to inheritance functional interface with respect to inheritance just example just example i have an interface like i have an interface interface i have an interface a i have an interface interface a having having one abstract method abstract method public void public void m1 that is a functional interface having method like m1 okay okay just example that is my one of the functional interface just example okay okay yeah and uh, it is a functional interface it is a functional interface are the right functional interface functional interface okay that is my interface a i have an another interface like i have an another interface like are there a functional interface are there a functional interface my interface B interface B interface B extend extends a extends a extends a then is it valid or not is it valid or not first one is valid first one is valid as the right functional interface interface a public body amount is valid second one second one like second one like interface where is my interface okay just example i'll remove that i need to write and child interface there okay uh, interface b extent extends a b extend a okay then second one is valid or not what is the can you please tell me sir second one is valid or not yes second one is valid second one is valid We'll see programmatically. First one is also valid. Second one also valid. We'll see programmatically. Go to our class. I have a functional interface, a public void M1. I try to write another functional interface. I try to write another functional interface like interface B extend extend a extend a we'll see what is the output it is working compiled successfully or it is compiled successfully that is no problem at all okay that is the first scenario why it is working what is the reason sir it is working because automatically 
automatically parent method will be available to the child interface hence child interface contain one abstract method if parent interface is a functional interface automatically child interface by default a functional interface if not to provide if not provide any abstract method also it will valid it is perfectly valid okay we'll go to the second scenario just example that is uh, my child class in a child class i want to I, my requirement is like that i want to declare i want to declare i want to i am taking one abstract method here public void m1 like i override the m1 method here see what is the result is it valid or not can you please tell sir confirm here it is valid or not it is valid or not it is perfectly valid we'll see programmatically we'll go there okay is perfectly valid yeah this one is perfectly valid okay if you remove that also that will perfectly valid you see that yeah it is perfectly valid if you add override that method if you override that method m1 method in your child interface is also okay just example interface okay this one okay interface b extend a then once again i'll java c tested the yeah it is valid successfully it is working compile successfully my question is my question is if a change like that if a change like that instead of a m1 if i write another another abstract method like m2 what is the result is it valid or not is it valid or not we'll see go to the program okay instead of m1 if you write m2 what is the output it is hundred percent pakka it is invalid here we will get the compile time error why it is not valid because here child interface contain because here child interface contain two method two abstract method one is from the interface a it is by default available to that uh, child interface second one is m2 immediately compiler will give the compile time error then maybe is not a not a functional interface while non override abstract method found okay we'll see that we'll compile that see b is not a functional interface multiple non override abstract method found in the interface b yeah that will give the compile time error if parent is a functional interface parent is a functional interface then child also a functional interface if it does not if it does not provide a new abstract method if you provide a new abstract method then it will give the compile time error okay then we'll go to the next question they ask like what is the functional interface are there a functional interface it indicate that it is indicating to the compiler that that is a functional interface contain one abstract method is it if you remove that is it valid or not if you remove that if you remove that what is the output 
will get a compile time error or not if you remove that will not get any compile time error because it is optional it is not a mandatory to write it is optional we will show that you see we are not getting any compile time error here cls java c test one dot java we are not getting compile time error i remove that other functional interface top of that child interface okay we'll go to the next topic what you need to discuss lambda expression with the functional interface lambda expression with the functional interface lambda expression with the functional interface first we'll, we'll we have just example i have an interface a public void m1 i want to implement the interface just example uh, my normal program my class demo implements functional a interface a then public void m1 system dot out dot pdl then how can i access that how can i call that m1 method just like i have a class i have a class class test test public static void main string args okay string args then i need to create the object demo demo d equal to new demo okay then d dot m1 d dot m1 then it will call the m1 method it will print like a hello but that is the normal implementation of one in functional interface but i don't want to use that i don't want to use that instead of uh, writing the separate top level classes i want to use the lambda expression here how to write the lambda expression of that method how to write the first how to write the lambda expression of that method lambda expression of this method m1 how to write how to write just parameter means bracket open then arrow symbol then system dot out dot print ln system dot out dot print ln print ln hello that is the lambda expression for this method okay then how to uh, implement that functional interface using lambda expression just like functional interface can be used to provide the reference to the lambda expression how to write just example i'll remove that part that is no need i'll remove that i'll provide the lambda expression here instead of implementing that top level class okay first i will declare my functional interface functional interface a a a is the reference of functional interface equal to then lambda expression that is my lambda expression copy that yeah that is my lambda expression then how to call that m1 method just reference of a reference of functional interface dot m1 then it will call that method of a method of a lambda functional interface okay we'll see programmatically actually here a is the functional interface that a is here the functional interface it will hold the re reference of a reference of functional interface hold the lambda expression 
that is the lambda expression is started from here that uh, bracket okay here it will this is the argument to the this is the argument to the this is the argument to the m1 method this is the argument to the m1 method okay a, a is the functional interface a is the functional interface functional interface okay okay then uh, functional interface used to implement the lambda expression functional interface used to provide the reference to the lambda expression instead of uh, writing that uh, demo class we can write one single line of code that implement lambda expression it will implementation of functional interface using lambda expression then here you can avoid the lot of lines of code you can avoid that okay we'll go to the programmatically we'll see that just an example that is my functional interface i have one class like a demo class demo implements a functional interface implements functional interface a public void m1 then system dot out dot printl and hello system dot out dot printl and hello then how to call that need to create demo object demo d equal to new demo okay d dot m1 d dot m1 that is our normal implementation of our interface we'll we'll see that implements implements impli implements b okay we'll run that uh, program Savasi test java that is spelling mistake that is small i implements okay yeah now it is compiled successfully then java test one that is the output hi it is calling that implementation method for okay? that functional interface instead of using that we will use the lambda expression what is the lambda expression of that method like this one parenthesis that is open a bracket then arrow symbol system dot out don't put it a high instead of writing that demo i can directly implement the lambda expression using functional interface then a a is equal to that lambda expression system dot out dot and a dot m1 a dot m1 we'll see what is the output for this java c test one dot java same output we'll get the same output using that implementing lambda expression with functional interface no need to write the top level class instead of, we can write the function lambda expression instead of that top level separate top level class that is no need just simply that line of code will give the same result yeah okay that is the these are the question okay we'll discuss some more Im important question and uh, some more tricky question of that java it interview question in the next video bye